everyone, welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny and today I am canning up some beef bone broth. Oh yes. Let me tell you, it is the best cure for everything that ails you. And with sick season upon us, everybody should be canning up some bone broth. No matter what kind you like, I prefer beef bone broth. But I do also can chicken, turkey, uh, ham, you name it. Homemade broth is easy and quick and we are going to do a slow cooker version today making it super easy. So pull a chair up to my counter, grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. Here I have a tray full of beef bones. I don't have any oxtail, I wish I did. But I'm going to take these, I'm going to salt and pepper them, I'm going to put them in a 375 degree oven for one hour. Okay, I've got my crock pot out, and I have put a crock pot liner in it. Um, I like to use these because it makes it for easier cleanup. If you don't, then don't. Okay, my bones have roasted. I am going to put them into my crock pot. Uh, I am going to save the oil. I keep all my beef fat in a freezer bag in the freezer. So I will let this set up and solidify. When it solidifies, I will scoop it right into my bag. I am going to fill this up with water. This is filtered water. This will hold four quarts of water. Here's my four quarts of water. I'm going to add a couple sprigs of fresh thyme. I would also add rosemary. I bought some and I think I left it at the store after I bought it. Don't you hate it? I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to turn this on high for one hour. Then I'm going to turn it down to low. So high one hour, then I'll turn it to low for 24 hours. And this is the easiest bone broth you'll ever make. I'm not going to salt it yet. I'm going to wait till I strain it to salt it. You can put whatever herbs you like in there fresh. Okay, here the bone broth has been in the crock pot for 24 hours and I am straining it out through some cheesecloth and a fine strainer. And I'm just going to strain it right into my pan and put my pan into my refrigerator for 24 hours so that the fat can solidify and I can pull that off the top the next day. I also forgot to say for this bone broth, when I put the bones and the herbs into the slow cooker, I also included a fourth a cup of apple cider vinegar. You need that vinegar to pull the collagen out of the bone. If you don't like vinegar, you can use another acid of your choice. Some people like to use wine. You can totally use that. But I just use apple cider vinegar. And no, this does not taste like apple cider vinegar. I can never taste the apple cider vinegar in the broth. Okay, so we're moving on to heating it back up from the next day, heating the bone broth back up the next day. Unfortunately, I thought I'd hit record and my camera did not record um, taking the fat off of the top and showing you how congealed it was from the collagen. It was very gelatinous and gorgeous. So um, hopefully when I bring you along to open up the jar to use it, I'll show you that in the future. But a good bone broth should be very gelatinous. Okay, this has been boiling. I'm going to turn it to low. I want to give it a try first to make sure it's got enough salt and I might put some pepper in there. 
delicious, but I'm going to add some pepper and I'm going to put a little bit more salt. I'm not putting a lot of pepper. You can can yours completely plain if you prefer it. I just like a little bit of extra flavor in it, salt and pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt going in. I don't want it too salty. I am going to fill my jars up. I'm going to leave an inch head space. This is pretty light colored bone broth because I didn't add anything to it except some fresh thyme. I didn't add any onions, I didn't add any vegetables. If you decide to add carrots, onions, celery, that kind of stuff, it will darken your broth. This is just plain old bone broth. I'll tell you what, I'm out of bone broth. I was completely out of bone broth. And when I, before I had brain surgery, I got the Black Death two weeks before that. And, um,. I healed from it really quick this time, but you know, through that and through the brain surgery, after I had brain surgery, I couldn't eat, I couldn't chew because of the jaw pain from the partial severing of the um, tendon in, in my jaw, and I lived on bone broth, but you know what, it helps you heal too, so I wouldn't have gotten through without bone broth. I lost my ball magnet, and all I have is this one, which doesn't work right. It's not my favorite. Fingertip tight. Okay, I gotta move my bread dough. Had my focaccia dough sitting over there. It's gonna get way too heated up. That's dinner. Put these guys in my canner over in the hot tub. Okay, I am of course canning this broth according to the Complete Guide to Home Canning from the USDA um, website is National Home Food Preservation. And for meat stock or broth, we, with um, just the broth, pints are 20 minutes. There's no meat in there, so just the broth is 20 minutes canning time. I will include the website for this in the description box below for you as well. Um, if you are canning anything, you should be checking your times here. Everybody's in the hot tub here, and I'm waiting for it to come up to pressure. When it does, I will let it go ahead and steam for 10 minutes, and then I'm going to set my, and then I'll put my weight on, and then when it comes up to pressure with the weight, starts to jiggle, I will set my time, my timer for 20 minutes. Canner is done and it's come down from pressure. Okay, and there it is.
out of this load, it was, I got, let's see, eight pints of bone broth. They are gorgeous. And it looks like they are all sealed already. Everything is sealed perfectly. Okay, that's all there is to canning bone broth. Super easy, especially if you're doing it the basic old-fashioned way, not adding anything extra, putting it in your slow cooker. It's so easy. Easiest bone broth you will ever make. Super healthy. It will help you through any cold, the black plague, um, surgeries. It's really healing. Everybody should have it on their shelves. I keep beef bone broth on my shelf strictly for that. Um, I don't generally cook with it. I usually just drink it. Sorry, my camera's going in and out of focus again. Also, I want to mention that this video is not part of Canuary. My Canuary videos haven't, they're later on this month, so this is not a Canuary video. This is just me stocking up on things I need in my pantry and I needed bone broth. Um, I am using four jars lids today as well as a couple of ball lids for my small mouth jars because I am out of small mouth four jars lids. But I will put four jars information in the description box below for you as well as a coupon code. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy videos like these and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog at JennyGoff.com for all of my recipes. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.